Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for visiting. We're going to do a uh, brief tutorial on uh, how to create the sapia tone or the old-timey photo effect. It's actually pretty easy, kind of related to the uh, glamour shot ga Gaussian blur trick that I did in my uh, first video. So first off, let's find a picture. So let's see, file, open. There you go, cowgirl. Oh yeah, that's that's something we would see in the Old West, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm just going to make a copy to work on. Okay, so what we need to do first is we need to desaturate that layer, make it black and white or grayscale if you would. So image, adjust, desaturate. Okay, that makes it uh, grayscale, black and white. Okay, now we're going to need to colorize that to give it that sapia tone color, which is kind of a brownish, yellowish kind of old look. So we'll do image, adjust, hue saturation. Okay, we're going to want to colorize this so we can see what we're doing. Now by default it starts in the red tones, but we want it to be brown. So hue we're going to do about 20. Saturation we're going to want to do about 20 as well. There we go, 20, 20. Leave the lightness at zero. There you go. That was good. Okay, we got the color. Now we're going to want to add dark around the edges and blur around the edges. Those old photos, I think with aging, the, the outside edges and corners get dark. But also the depth of field was kind of weird on those old cameras, the glass plate cameras. And uh, everything was sharp closer to the lens. Everything around the edges in the background was fuzzy. So first let's darken. So what we're going to do is take the burn tool the burn tool. I want a nice large brush. I got a hundred here. Nice and soft. Let's try the highlights because uh, this, this particular picture has a lot of highlights in it. So let's just start darkening the corners. There we go. Darkening the edges. Okay, not too hard. Okay, there we go. Oop, grab that a little too much. There we go. Let's darken those edges. Okay, that's easy. There we go dark around the edges. There we go. Now, let's take and make a copy of that layer. And we're going to do, like I said, this similar to the, the uh, Glamour Shot Gaussian Blur trick we did in our previous tutorial. So we're going to take this layer, do a filter, blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay, I'm going to do about a one. We don't want it too blurry because this is a very subtle effect. So about a one. Click OK. Now on that blurry layer, I'm now going to take the eraser tool, get a nice big brush, about 200, nice big soft edge brush, about 50% opacity. Now I'm going to go back and everything that's going to be closer to the lens or the viewer's point, or the point of view of the viewer. Uh, so hmm, which would be closest to the camera lens here? Well, let's start with her head, just lightly erasing. So it's leaving the blur on the edges and it's sharpening it up. Well, it's not sharpening, it's actually erasing the blur part in the front so it makes it appear to be sharper closer. Okay, so right down the center of her body, her tummy, her hand, the front of her thigh, her uh, <coughs> whatever. And uh, so there we go, that's real easy. Now let's uh, zoom in and take a look here. Now see, it's blurry by the edges. The back side of the rail gets sharper toward the middle. Then it gets blurrier toward the edges, and even her hand is a little in the background. So I'm going to leave that a little blurrier, because boy, those those old photos really had some some uh, depth of field issues, and they were really sharp toward the front and blurry toward the back. Okay, so that was easy. Now let's take those two layers and merge. You can't see it because it's going off the edge of the screen, but the fly out there, I'm doing a merge visible. There we go. Now we're going to add some film grain effect to it what we need to do to do the film grain is we have to sample some colors. So I'm going to need a light color. Let's take a light skin color. There you go. It's kind of a tanny. Now let's take a dark from, say, like the shadow under her chin. There we go. So we've got a nice light color and a nice dark color. Now we need to do a filter. Noise. Add noise. This is going to utilize the two colors we, we uh, just sampled. So I'm going to do it uniform monochromatic and that's going to utilize the light and the dark colors that I sampled. Okay, there we go. Now I'm doing this about a three. We don't want to do it too much. See it gets way way too grainy. And then about three. 
not too bad. There we go. That looks pretty good. Alrighty. Well, that's the effect. It wasn't that hard, was it? Okay. So see, we've got a little bit of graininess in there. We've got the dark around the corners. We've got the blurriness around the edges. And it's just that easy. So there's your old-timey photo with uh, your typical cowgirl you would have seen back in the 1800s, I'm sure. <sighs> cowgirl cleavage. Okay. So uh, if you liked what you saw, leave comments. I always like comments. Let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to make. So uh, thanks for visiting, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.